Barbara. And I'm Karen, and we're the Sync Sisters. This is our tech bit on Google Templates. All right, so today we're going to talk about using templates um, within your Google Apps. And you What might, is a template? I wonder what a template <laughs> is. A template is a document that's already been started for you. Okay. You can go ahead and you can enter your own data in and customize it. Right. Um, the way you need. So, so it might be things you use over and over again or very common things people use. Right. Or something that your company might have set right. up that has your logo and all the different right. fonts that they use and colors. So, so the Google Apps have templates and you can create your own, which we'll get into later. Right. So let's take a look. So uh, what are you going to do first? Okay, here? the first thing we're going to do <clears throat> is we're going to go ahead and we're going to take a look at a doc. At existing because, templates you can use. Right. So I'm going to pull up docs.google.com, which is going to bring us to our docs homepage. So all the right. apps, docs, sheets, slides, forms, and drawings have templates available. That's right. And they would look very similar to this docs right. one. So here we're at the docs homepage. And you can see up here our recent uh, documents and then down here even more recent yep. documents. And we're going to go ahead and click on this more button in the okay. upper right-hand corner. And it's going to show us different categories for templates. Perfect. So we're going to go down here to education. Because we love our teachers. We love our, our teachers. But we love everybody else, too. We do. We do. <laughs> And we're going to come down here to um, this lesson plan because I want to create a custom lesson plan for my English class. Okay, okay, perfect. So you can see it comes up. It looks really nice. It's got a graphic. It's got yep. colors and they text really nice. sizes. And I'm assuming that's um, some you know common information you might be including in something right. like this. Right. And I'm going to come in and I'm going to type in um, my changes. So yep. it's English. It's second period and so on. And I can come through and just customize Continue to it. edit your document. Now something to note is that <clears throat> when I first opened this up, Mm -hmm. What uh, Google did, what Google Docs did, was it created a copy of this file and it put it in my drive Perfect. or in my Docs home. You don't have to hassle with it. Don't have to hassle with it. And it called it Lesson Plan. But I'm going to come up here and I'm going to call it English Lesson Plan. Yeah, give it so your it, own name. So it's a little more descriptive to me. So you don't have to worry about, you know, working over the template. It that's just right. makes a copy and puts it in your drive. That's right. And that's the way the templates work in all of the different apps that we look at. And yep. But Slides is a little bit different. Slides has yet another layer yep. to it. So we're going to go to the Slides homepage, slides.google.com. Yep. So if we were to, um, sorry, before you mm -hmm. move on, if we were to go to forms or sheets, it would have the same at their homepage. It would have templates you could choose from, and then you could customize them. That's right. And here we are at the slides page, and we're going to see that exactly here. It looks very much like the docs page. It's showing us our <clears throat> recent stuff down here, obviously. Yep. Um, here is the more tab up here, and mm -hmm. we can see that we have all these different categories. Yep. We're going to go ahead, and we're going to pick the science project okay. template because... Um, we're so science -y. We're so science <laughs> And it's going to come up, and you can see that on the left here, it's got 10 different slide templates or slide looks. If I click page on them. layouts, play, and they're page really layouts. nice. I think the design is really nice. Yeah, yeah, the design, it's really beautiful. So you could go through and customize, change your type, Again, change your images. You're typing right? it, you're bringing yeah. in different images, and so on. Now, another neat thing, though, is you can come over here and you can choose a sub theme. Okay. So let's say that Which I'm. Which is not, really a different color palette. It is, it's a different color palette. So let's say we'd rather be orange. You click right. on orange, and it's going to change to orange. You okay. click on, you know, blue, it's going to change to blue. Sometimes some of the um, templates will change as well with the color. Sometimes they don't. Right. So it's really a nice feature. Um, now, one thing to note is once you're done picking your theme, your color of it, yeah. you can hit the X and get rid of it. So it gives you a little bit more real estate on your window. Well, how do I get it back? Or what if I open the document and it's not there? Okay. Then right up here <laughs> in your submenu bar, whoops, you can see theme. Okay. And you click on that, and it'll come up. Because that happened to me before, and I just right. took a while. To oh, right, right. Or let's say you decide, oh, I'm going to put a transition in, and that takes over over here. Now you're like, uh-oh, how do I get my theme back? Because once yeah. you close this, there, oh, it there it is. Well, you didn't close themes yet. I hadn't closed it yet, right. If it was closed, it would not come back. So, Okay. So that's how we do it. So the other thing that you can do here is you can um, customize it a little further by... Um, putting something on the master page. Okay. Let's say... Um, and a master page is something, if you put it on the master page, it'll put it on every single page Every of the single document. page in the document, right. And what they've done here is there are, um, there's a, a main master page and then there are layout pages. And <clears throat> you could come in here and you could change the type style. If you didn't like this Roboto type and you wanted to change it to... Roboto, Risa, I think. Roboto. 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 No, it's Mr. Roboto. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So you can do that. Another thing you could do that you might commonly want to do is you might want to add a logo. So you can go to the insert menu. 
image, image. and we're going to find, um, there are, of course, many ways uh, yeah. that you can Just your find your image. stuff. We're going to go to our albums, go to Profile Picks, and pick our logo. Right. And once I select that, it's going to come in big, but yes. I can click and drag Which to we, make it that smaller. That would be crazy to have it that big. That would be crazy. <laughs> you wouldn't have anything on your slides. I'm going to put it up in the upper right-hand corner. Yep. And hit enter. And then away we go. And what we'll notice when we come out again. Oh, you know what? You put it in a layout. Oh, whoops. I was on a layout. So I'm going to show them that. Get it out of you here. You had this orange show. You're right. My See the did. orange outline here? Yep. I was down there. I wanted to be up here on the master, master page. But, you know, that's a good thing to point out because these layouts yeah. are the 10 different kinds. So maybe only on this right. one you wanted to do something. Yes. So you we, can, it was a happy accident. It was. It was. <laughs> so here we're going to go to the main master and insert our image, pick our logo. And then it's going to come in gigantic. And we're going to mm -hmm. make it small and put it in the upper right-hand right -hand corner. And now you can see here, it's on every one of them. Yep, perfect. And if I come out here, you're going to see that every single one of these I pick on right. didn't work on that one. So there, there would be a reason to go into the sub-theme and take well, it off. Well, it's there. It's right. just, yeah. Well, right. Oh, right. It doesn't yeah. work here, though. Yeah. So it's you can use templates uh, in slides, and it's so it's so complex, and you can customize it, and it's really great. It really is. A and lot of people use slides for presentations right, at right. work or your organization. Right, and you don't have to be a designer in this case. No. You know, you can focus on the content yeah. and not the way it looks. Perfect. So that's um, one way to use templates with the Google Apps. Right. The other way is something called the Template Gallery. Right. And this has been around for a while. It kind of existed bef uh, before they had these on an app homepage, before they had these templates. Right. So to get to the template gallery, you just type in drive.google.com slash templates. I'm just going to, I've been there before, so I just it chose came up, it. Right, right. right. And the first thing um, when you look at it that I want to show you is sort of the page layout. You have these tabs up here. Mm -hmm. This says public templates. Now that's the first thing you need to be aware of is that in the template gallery, everything is public. So um, later right. we're going to show you how to actually save a template here. And um, when you do that, anyone in the world can use it. Right, right. <laughs> with the, anyone with a Google account. Right. There is a caveat to that, which we'll show you later right. about how your company might be able yes. to do it privately. If you have a company that uses it, you might have a different tab here that says your company organization name, and we'll talk about that in a little bit. Right. The, um, then, then you have templates I've used, and then my templates. Right. So if I, you know, later we'll click on those and show you that. But then uh, the next thing you're going to do is you want to search all the templates available. So very common, you're going to narrow down your search. And you can, yes, and you what? can even sort by the hottest layouts. Right. <laughs> <laughs> the hottest resumes oh, out this. there. The hottest resumes. The high, oh, my God, I see it now. Let's the highest, see the highest rating. rating. Oh, oh, my gosh. The doc Those status are form. <laughs> That looks complicated. It doesn't even look like it's in English. Uh, okay, but first, to narrow your search, you could just search documents, you know, just sheets, slides, you know, go on and on and on. I'm going to leave it on all types just for our purposes. Right. And you can also narrow down the category. Maybe you want to be, you know, just search in business. And you'll notice when I click on something, the little arrow moves, and that means I right. have that selected. And the type becomes black. Or personal finances. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm going to go ahead and do all. Okay. Okay, and then we're going to go up here. And which should we search for? How about a student, student email, maybe? Evaluation. Oh, look. I already searched oh. for that. Perhaps when we were practicing Ooh, the video. Maybe. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to do that and then hit uh, search. Search template. Now they're going to come up, and what you notice is it's good because I have it in all types of documents here. Yes. It's showing me, you know, docs sheets and docs and, sheets and, yeah, right. and forms and so on. So right. what we you could just go through here and you could click on, you know, use this template. And, and what it's will gonna it do open then? it. And as you open it, now this one's a little bit different. You can see it renamed it copy of All right. And then the fo and then the name. And put it in your drive. Oh I look, bet. we're in the old forms. I can't oh, even oh, have that up for I a can't minute. even look. <laughs> right. The new forms is so much richer. Um, so what it does is it creates a copy and puts it on your drive. Perfect. So, you know, again, just like we showed you, you could change the name. Right, because you like probably that. don't want copy of right. on your file. That would be silly. Right. So that is, so that's pretty easy. Right. Now, what if I wanted to make my own and mm -hmm. share it with the world because my templates are the best ever? Which you can, For yes. my documents, I, I know. Well, say. of course, yours would be, right? Of course. So let's go to Drive and <laughs> You can save, save your own templates. Oh, yeah. We don't have to go to Drive, right? Nope. 
We want to be in right a template here. gallery. Yep, template gallery. And so we go up here in the right, it says submit a template. Okay. So I'm going to click on that. And you can see that uh, it comes up with this little message here that, you know, when you're submitting this to the public gallery. Right. So right. just know that, right? Right. So what you do is come over here and you ch uh, click on choose from your Google Docs. What if it's not a doc? What if it's a form? <laughs> you know, it should say Google Apps. It should say. Or Google Drive. Yeah. Because Google... you can put any kind of, you can put sheets or slides or right. anything. And here you have your subcategories across yep. the top. See, I can put a sheet up there. Yep. I'm going to do it just, just because I want to. Okay. All right. So you select whatever, uh, and these are all the files that you've created. So you, you know, obviously first on your, in your drive create your document right, that you want exactly. to be template. Right. And then click select. And then you um, have to write a description. So right. it wants a description. Enter description. Okay. Right, right. And you have to pick a category too. Right. So I don't know, I'm just gonna pick business. All right. And then you submit it. And you can have a subcategory too. If you want it, yeah. And you pick the language. Sorry, I kind of went, went, let me bring that up again. I'm a little too fast. Too fast. Okay. So you do a subcategory, and you could also um, change your language. Pick any language. Right. Now, the thing about it, just go back one um, back browser here. screen. It's going to show you. Now, it took you right to the, oh, I'm pointing at the screen. You guys yeah. can't see that. <laughs> it took you to the My, my Templates. templates. Right. Now, I have some templates, but up here, you see this, your template has been saved and should be visible in the template gallery momentarily. Yeah. It you know it depends. Right. If you're used to working with Google, um, things can ha like this can happen immediately, or they can take quite a while. Right. So it depends. So we submitted one like an hour and a half ago, and it still hasn't shown up. Right. So I don't know. You know, probably they go through some looking at yeah. it and making sure it's you have no decent. Idea. You know. Right. Doesn't have any swear words in it. Yeah. And things like that. So. So as we said, once they're up here and they're near my templates, um, they're, but they're actually public. They're right. not going to be just for you. Right. Now let's see if we want it just for yeah. our company. How can we do that now? Now there is a way you can work around it, uh, or there is an option available if you have a company or organization that, as their mail client, uses Gmail, which I actually do. Right. For I your design a company. Design company with my husband, and uh, right. uh, we use Gmail for our mail clients. So, so. what I'm going to do, I'm going to sign out of our account and sign in as um, my husband, the one with my husband, yeah, great. my company, yeah. and what you'll see here, look up here, M2 Design Lab Templates. Isn't that cool? So now we've got another tab. Yes. Yeah. So let's say you uh, worked for a school. You, the name of your school might be here. You know, right. A lot of schools elementary. use Gmail yep. as their client. Yep. So you then can feel free and comfortable that your templates will be only for people who are in your within domain. your domain, signed yes. in under yeah. your Gmail. So you could even set that up, you know, if you had a need in, within a group and you wanted to create right. templates that were just for yourself, you could all, you know, get do the Gmail. Right. You have to pay for that, though, right? You do pay for it, yeah. yeah. Normally, Gmail is free, but when you when your company, yep. because your email was m 2 Design Lab. Dot com, not yep. gmail.com. Right. So it's kind of... You can make um, it whatever you want. Right. Yeah. So another way that you can... We've shown you the ways that you can get yep. templates um, from Google, from the home for the, for the app yes. that you're working on, from the template gallery, but you can work outside of the Google environment okay. too. And that is you can just Google... Google it. Templates. <laughs> right? So, right. I want... I mean, isn't um, that what you do with life? You just right. Google it I and want, you can find uh, anything. <laughs> Google Docs templates. What did we do before we could Google it? <laughs> exactly. Okay, so here we come up, and here we've got, you know, the Google template comes up first. But look at all these other places. 24 Google Doc templates that will make your life easier yep. from make sure, no, make yep. use of.com, the next web, how yep. to create and say, you know, so there's. And some of these are free, and I, I'm sure some of them are packages you buy, but right. you can just explore it because right. tons and tons of places and people put out templates. Put out templates. That are in the template gallery that exactly. but you might really like. And they right. might be specialized for your business. They might be, and they might interests. be bundled. They might yep. be, you know, a forms and the Kind of like clip or, art, you know, how yeah, you, how you exactly. work with clip art. So, and one last uh, resource that we have for you on templates is our, comes from our friends at Google for Work YouTube channel, The Apps Show. Right. And they have a really great video, a uh, new video out on templates. So check it out by clicking on our card by clicking on the I in the upper right. Right. And we'll also have a link uh, in the description below. Right. So we hope you've enjoyed our video on templates. Thanks. Thanks for watching the Sync Sisters Tech Fit. And please subscribe to our channel.